We both grew up uh, very Catholic. Yes. Uh, you were in you, Boston, right? Yeah, yeah. I was just in Boston doing Castle Rock. Oh, you were doing Castle yeah. Rock? Yeah, that's yeah. Right. what you, a great city. It's an amazing city. I love it. I do I love, love that town. I grew up there. I grew up Irish Catholic in Boston, which is such a cliche. Yeah. Uh, and um, everyone in my family, you had to, we had to participate in the church. So I was a uh, lectern, which meant I, I would get up and do some readings every now and then. They would want like a young kid to come out and read oh. a prayer or something I like that. I thought a lectern was a... Well, like a piece of wood. It is the actual thing you stand behind. <laughs> right. I was that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they had a thing that was called, there was a name that they had. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. At, where, where it's for the kid that comes out and, and, and uh, they said, oh, you have a good reading voice, you can do that. But because I did that, I wasn't an altar boy. And I kind of felt like, oh, the altar boys, they get like a cool outfit, and they're in charge of stuff. <laughs> they get to, I mean, you were an altar yeah. boy, right? I was an altar boy. That was my first theatrical experience. <laughs> uh, you know, and learning... And the reviews are in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, learning cues, ringing the bells at the right time, bringing up the wine, you know, all that. Oh, I had all, all these responsibilities. And, and then you had to learn lines, too. You had the... I, I came in right after the Latin, though, so I didn't have to learn the Latin. Right, yeah. me too. Yeah. It was, it was Lucky all, us. All the Catholic Church was Latin, and then overnight it changed to people with guitars singing Kumbaya. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and just jamming Jesus' name in there. There, uh, yeah. In weird places. Yeah, I remember those songs. Yeah. Here we are all together. Remember that one? No, no. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad was actually the leader of the choir. He was a folk yeah. singer in Greenwich Village at the time and a wow. Catholic, so he, he wound up leading the choir with those folk masses. And were, were you a, a good kid as an altar boy, or did you well, behave? Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, New York. You can't just say New York. <laughs> <laughs> if that defense worked, Giuliani yeah. would have said that a long time ago. Like, hey, you know, what are you doing? New York! New York! Yeah, I'm more like Moscow for him. <laughs> but, uh, uh, what? What? What did I say? You didn't say nothing. So, um, so yeah, I was, uh, I was a good boy, but... I was always tempted, you know, when we were in the, uh, you know, backstage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> backstage? In, <laughs> in a church. It, it's called the altar. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Behind the, the altar. Sacristy. The yeah, sacristy. Ba ba yeah, the back, back. Yeah, anyway, so, uh, yeah, there were these hosts and stuff. And, uh, the communion wave. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, when, the, when they were unconsecrated and they were in the, you know, the closet, you know, and you could maybe take a couple out and... Yeah, I took a stack back to school one day after. A, <laughs> you a, ate the communion wafers as a snack? They were not. They, a stack of them, is, it was pretty good, yeah. And, and then when you're in the pretty back. Good. Oh, yeah, a little almond butter on that, and that's pretty good. <laughs> so it was more for the shock value, you know. Hey, look, look you know, hey, hey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Girls that's, freaking out. Well, that's all, those are hosts. Yeah, yeah. They're not blessed. Yeah, They yeah. weren't blessed. They haven't transmogrified. <laughs> not the body of Christ yeah. yet, no. And they're low calorie, yeah. huh? <laughs> So, and then the wine, of course, you know, which, uh, you know, there was this priest named Father Radigan. And you do the morning mass, like, it's 7.30 in the morning, and he's like, you have to pour the wine, and he's into the chalice, and he's going... Ding, 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 more, more, more. To the more. top, you know, chugged it down. Poor guy. Yeah. Know, had a, had a <laughs> bit of a Poor guy, you got free wine every day. Uh, what are you talking about? Cheap wine, though. It's yeah. not very good. Headaches, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's one thing I yeah. learned about Thanksgiving. This is a little tip for Thanksgiving. You know how Thanksgivings can, you know, degradate into, you know, family bad, bad and yeah, bickering, yeah, yeah, bad stuff. Good wine. <laughs> Just try it next time. Just <laughs> spend a little extra money on some good wine instead of cheap, the cheap wine and the beer and the football all day. Just have some really good wine and maybe a little, you know, and then <laughs> everything <laughs> will be much better. Thanksgiving is fantastic. Grandma will calm down. Yeah, Grandma yeah. will take it real yeah. easy. Yeah, yeah.